we know Jesus is the true shepherd of our souls, as the Apostle Peter will say. But what are we being led to? Why is Jesus leading us as a flock of sheep? I think the simple answer is that we're being led out of sin into life. Now, we know and we have been taught that this is a good thing. To be saved from our sins is a good thing. We know that. But oftentimes, I think that we have a misunderstanding of what sin is. Sin is really being held captive to our own purposes, our own selfish desires, our own mistakes, and not being what God intended us to be. So we have to learn what it means for God to lead us out of sin, just like he led the Israelites out of Egypt from slavery. So Jesus is performing a new exodus when he leads us out of sin, out of our slavery to our own selfishness, to our own understanding and perspective of the world that is contrary to God. This is why we're being led out of it. We're being led out of it so that we can live like God intended, to love one another, to love him as we should, and to understand what that means, and to love one another as we should. So we've started a shepherding study series, and we've started with uh, part one is Psalm 23. And here we find a boy leading some little lambs out. And we think of David because God chose David uh, to do this. He chose David to lead Israel uh, out of its uh, division, out of its misunderstanding of who uh, God is among them. Saul was definitely not doing that, and he was emblematic or he was symbolic of Israel's desire for the wrong thing. They had a very selfish desire to not recognize God as the kind of God that they... Uh, should have. And so David was someone who would do God's will in a sense, and we see how David is reflecting on being a shepherd king. And so thinking of David in a pastoral way is a new thing for me and for probably many people. But we hear, we hear here in Psalm uh, 78, 7, 70 through 72, God chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the nursing ewes, he brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, Israel, with his inheritance. With upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. So we see that God is leading Israel through the shepherd king, David. Where is he leading them to? Hopefully, he's leading them like he was leading Israel through Moses to a fuller, uh, whole understanding of who God is and how God is the real shepherd. And so David is emulating as king. He is emulating God as best he can, and he's trying to convey that through Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. That's an interesting usage of metaphor, and we have God being as a shepherd to David. And David, we're going to talk about David, we're going to talk about sheep and um, all of the selfish and nervous and fearful things that sheep are, and we're going to talk about that in our classes, and I hope that you enjoy that. If you have any fascinating facts uh, please don't hesitate to contribute. Anne uh, talked about the idea of sheep have no depth perception. When they are uh, led toward water and they see that it's running, 
uh, they will not drink it because they're fearful of falling in and basically putting cement shoes on their feet as, as that wool gets so weighed down uh, with water. So what we have here is an idea of sheep don't really have depth perception. Uh, even if it's a few inches deep, they're not going to drink it. So a shepherd has to channel out some water away from the running stream so that still waters can be a part of what these sheep drink. And then they will be satisfied and be able to lay down in green pastures and digest that uh, green grass. This is what we're going to talk about in our classes. Uh, we're going to uh, review this and see what it means for God to have led us out of sin in Jesus. And this is a, this is a big uh, picture thing. Pe sheep don't have depth perception. We don't have very good depth perception. And we have to be brought back to the flock, brought back to the shepherd. We have to repent uh, we have to be in the sheepfold as God would want us to be. And so we see that even that even Jesus is making use of these metaphors in Psalm 23 uh, with the parable of the lost sheep. He imagines God working through him as a shepherd that risks his life to bring the sheep back, the one lost uh, sheep to the sheepfold of 99, and then they have a celebration. So this is an idea, a parable that Jesus is conveying to those who are um, curious and grumbling about what is going on with him while he's eating meals with sinners. So sinners are obviously those who have had selfish and uh, they've missed the point. They've missed the purpose of life, but they're coming back. And so Jesus uses this sim, uh, the imagery and the symbolism of sheep coming back to the sheepfold to help us understand. So this is why we're so interested in what God is leading us to, what Jesus is leading us to. He's leading us to uh, what we need in life, what truly fulfills us, and that is really he he himself. And so we want to talk about this in uh, our classes to come. So I hope that you enjoy uh, these lessons. Please feel free to contribute with any fascinating tidbits or facts about sheep and shepherds and so forth. And we'll try to incorporate these in the coming videos.